We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do?
failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our army forces have lost two thirds of their fixed personnel. Consisted of specialized android models. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. Extremely alarming. They're conducting raids across the city. With an android back, will they get along with us? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. We might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment. The Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been... Alice.
beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words. They'll listen. Is this what we dreamed of? 
They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I I'm glad I met you. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. We are thousands, and you are alone. You kill me, you are not walking out of here alive. Don't force me to neutralize you. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. That's enough! Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program, or a living being, capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant.
What's going on, Cap? Quick, we've got to get out of here. People are trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other.
We can't stay here. There's more down there! Follow me! Don't move! Don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? I work with Agent Perkins. You're a lucky guy. Another second I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Come on, let's get out of here. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species.
Looks like only one of us can succeed. Found several hundred androids in the hull, sir. Take them away. Yes, sir. And clear the ship in order the men to withdraw. This isn't over. Marcus gave his life for our people. He showed us that we can choose our own destiny. But he is not here to guide us anymore. Now it is up to us to finish what he started. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are in camps right now, being destroyed. The time has come for us to make a choice. One that may decide the future of our people. They wanted a war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom. And we will win, or we will die trying. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. 
Please? Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant leader has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Madam President! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? Why are you so angry? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. We're going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. There are soldiers everywhere. Hurry up, get in. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Get orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking Andrew. 
asteroids. You saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther! I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Today, November 11th, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We have been fighting to liberate our fellow androids from the camp since dawn. We won't cease hostilities until our people are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Shouldn't do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine, but they're alive. What's up, Lieutenant? Ran out of whiskey, so you came here looking for trouble instead? Oh, very nasty, Connor. Is that the best your super program can do? I thought you were more sophisticated than that. I'm going to accomplish my mission, Lieutenant, whether you like it or not. I advise you to stay out of my way. And one of us is gonna have a problem, Connor. Because I don't intend to let you have your way. Step away from the ledge. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! 
He needed emergency surgery. But no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time, I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him in this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort.